Good morning. We are here today because um, just to provide some additional information about the incident that happened today. If you recall, yesterday the police were alerted sometime after six of a scene where a family was killed, a, a mother, a father, and a son. Um, coming out of that investigation, the police did some additional work. We weren't getting much information at the time from the persons that were there. However, we did indicate that the intelligence community and the investigators would look more closely at what happened yesterday to see if we could find some more information that could give us some lead as to why the individuals were killed yesterday. They are still in the process of doing that. However, at this stage, based on the work that they did, they are satisfied that what happened yesterday morning is a continuation of a gang conflict that started sometime in August where um, some incident happened. And this yesterday seemed to be a response to what happened then as part of the ongoing gang conflict. So they carried out an operation this morning. It was intelligence led. Out of that um, operation, they seized two illegal firearms. One person, um, there was an incident and one person was um, fatally shot. And three persons taken into custody. One of the persons that died in the incident this morning was named yesterday afternoon by the investigators as a person of interest. He was named on the list as Gaza or Gaza man. So the firearm was seized and um, he, um, unfortunately, he, um, he died during that incident. One of the persons in custody of the three is a brother of his and there are two other persons. When they did the assessment, one of the things that the investigators um, realized, even from what they picked up on the ground, that the likelihood of reprisal for that incident yesterday morning was very imminent. And we saw what happened this morning where the, the police and the military team that were in the operation actually intercepted what could be another serious incident. Probably saved, they saved some lives by virtue of what they did. They are satisfied that they're on the right path in terms of the leads that they are following. They suspect, based on what they know, that there are other individuals that they are looking for. There are still some other persons that are on the list of names that were sent out as persons of interest. And those persons were named as persons of interest because they believe that they can assist them with the investigation because the investigators will not stop until they find some closure for the family that was killed yesterday. So on the list, we still, they're still looking for Demar Williams that goes by the name Kiki or Kai Kai. They are looking for Buffy. They are also looking for Richie and these are all aliases because their true names are not yet ascertained by the investigators. They are looking for Othniel Loban, who goes by the name Tickman. And there are two persons of interest who are not residing in Jamaica at the time, but are known to be influencing what's happening in the community. And one goes by the alias Negus and the other Blacks. So those are some individuals that the investigators would want them to make themselves available so that they can have some discussion. And I know that time as we share this information, there are individuals in the community who we believe have information that can assist with this investigation. It is very, very important that they get to the police and tell, tell us what they know because we're not dealing with ordinary individuals. We are dealing with individuals who are willing to go out there and kill teenager tie up a pregnant female, cut her throat, shot her. These are not ordinary individuals. And based on what is happening, as long as those persons are in the community, then the community is not safe.
So we want the members of that community to see themselves as part of the solution. We have to get these guys and we need to get them very, very quickly. Otherwise, we run the risk of seeing in the community, even innocent persons being, being part of what's happening there because they, these criminals re are not really concerned about the livelihood and the safety of these individuals. They are all about carrying out their violent acts against persons who they are targeting, the criminal network that is very, very active at the moment. When you look at the intelligence that's available, the best response is for the police to be able to arrest these individuals and very, very urgently. back to my view tv the people's platform the home of undiluted news reviews updates and your daily dose of entertainment don't forget to hit the notification bell leave us a comment like share and subscribe i don't bring nobody forward in your future for me everything what you see up my natural talent let me tell you something you see when you know what to please the audience with it's simple me you may not see it as a blessing right now, just hold on. You will see the glory of God shining after the storm. Why well, go on, my people? Hope everybody doing okay. Hope everybody doing all right. Give thanks to life for the gathering. People, me didn't know say the police never come come chat to you, you understand? Me did know. I mean, leave them for come come tell you no to you, you know? You understand? And I don't want nobody come and say, oh, my view. You know, feel like Stephanie braid them too tight in her head. That's why she had chat so much nonsense. No, no, go so. That is just Stephanie Funo. No. Just always come chat one bunch of foolishness and make one this whole heap of mistake. I don't know nothing what she had talked about. But let me tell the people that go on for what I go on now. If who don't know, who not going to know now. And who know can say, yes, my view. I see him so it go. So as I was she had talked about, what she don't know nothing about, I'm going to tell you right now. Blacks and Negroes are the cause of everything where you see a go on right in a Waterloo right there in the so. And a one set of man are dead off right now. One set of man are dead off, you know. Negos, they must slap away everything. We are say blacks. Because blacks are watching a man. Me need to run back Waterloo. And Negos are saying, no. You can't run about ya. And look what I them where I say. Negos are make blacks know say watch ya. One by one we are picking off. So the youth of the police them show this morning. I know him kill blacks family. The Wellington them, no, 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 no. Him and blacks actually par. Him a shoot for blacks. Yeah, man. And ask me, ask me, and tell me, I tell you, because I remember, I remember good. My girl. So tell the police, them say, my girl, and me, I tell you, we go on. And no such thing as shoot out. Me, I tell you exactly where go on. Negos work with police. Yes, Negos work with police. So Negos telling police friend, them say, yo, over the house. You see, that's the most here, the problem house. Remember the boy, them from Catburn Penny, the runway. And get burned up and then and then I see him house. They want big house, you know. And people in that thing say, yo, and the man who own the house. Send man go kill them. Not no go so can remember say one of the youth were dead. They with him niece. You understand? She breathed him and them something there. Tell me I tell you what I go on for what I go on. They sitting there. Now come in at the news. I mean alone know them and the people them who live around there and live beside me. Know they sitting there. So only can know. But remember, we did talk about it already. You can go back and check some and review them. And let's see where we go on. Because we, go on. Cause we don't miss when we talk. We don't miss when we talk. You see, Gaza now, where the police them killed this morning. Two gun killed him. Let's have him two gun them pan him. You understand? He just get up out of the house this morning and come out and stretch. Remember, say, Negus them, don't tell them, say, watch ya. And that house, they don't forget. And that's where Gaza them there. Get rid of Gaza them. And that is what happened this morning. I understand the police them just seen come out and a stretch. Ah, one big stretch guy just wake up and fold him up a shot. Yeah, man. Him dead. And then carry the rest of them. Can't be on bars gang and put them down. But the only way this is going to stop, you know, is if them link Uncle Sam and tell Uncle Sam, say, watch out. Negro Sam Blacks, fan half them head. Because them the two man the head not fan half. This now go done for now. This now go done for now, cause 
he cut burn pen man them no so I clip a canes and get for them revenge for, for them friend them who they did you know you understand other man get chat over the hey a whole heap of sitting now go on but keep back and relax man he police say my chat son to business but tell them say come right here so me have all the information where them need yeah man remember when I'm in my yard where man I talk it as it is and as it might be Anyways now, more news. A 20-year-old man who is accused of pretending to be operator of an overseas job agency was reportedly beaten while in custody at a corporate area lockup. It was shared in the King Southern St. Andrew Parish Court on Monday. The defendant, Jamal Black, was hospitalized for injury he received in a recent fracas right round at the prison. One officer with knowledge of the incident said it looked like him nearly dead. Black is charged on the indictment for a 36 count of obtaining money by means of fraud pretense and 5 count of operating an overseas employment agency without a license. It was also shared that Black took the people their money and I thought, but watch out the man. I run agency and I can't get to the visa and I can't get to the work. You understand? 150,000, you know. But pretty never know, say, yo, the people them have people in a lockup. And then just make a call to them when he go around there and tell them to fix them business. And that is exactly what going for what go on. Well, and then now, I'm still there at the court and I'm still there dealing with prison business. An inmate is insisting that he was only trying to defend himself when he stabbed a fellow inmate at the offer tree lockup. Your Honor, it's a simple case of self defense. Ricardo Sodlow told the senior parish judge, Lorian Cole Montague, in the Kingston and St. Daniel Parish Court on Monday, it never needs to reach this far. I was in a cell with eight other persons and he, the complainant, had a weapon trying to attack me and I disarm him. Yes, people. I go on like a road him there. Man said just disarm him, take him weapon and tab him up. Anyways, that and that. Blackboard and friends of the people them who for poker box they get missed. A matter of fact, the people them poker box. Who people they come, 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 thief. When they can found up at the station and come, come, collect them. But guess what? No? The people them can't really go up there and collect them poker box because a thief, people thief. I sell them it. You understand? Make them have it. That's why the station pack up has so much poker box. And ask me, ask you, you know. I tell me, I tell you. you know.